Well, it's been a long time coming, but we've finally got our hands on Fent's brand new tract tractor. Now, winding the clock back a little bit, you'll probably be well aware that ADCO, in its infinite wisdom, streamlining, I think they call it, have pulled the plug on the Challenger brand in Europe and absorbed all what was the Challenger products under the Fent brand. Now this, obviously, includes its tra tractors. Now, as before, the uh, range consists of seven models, three small frame machines and four large frame machines. So, what has ACO actually done to sort of fentize the tractors? Well, with the large frame models, it is literally just a lick of green paint. However, it's an entirely different story with the three small frame machines, as we're about to find out. Right, first up, let's start with the bit that this tractor is famous for, that being its track unit. Now, ACO's been fairly busy in this department, while sort of from the outset it looks quite similar to the old Challenger tractor, underneath it's had quite a few revisions. First one being, it's a longer footprint, about 13 centimetres from axle to axle. Uh, a big design criteria of the new machines is comfort. So what they've done, they've pretty much spin this uh, bogey system round and it, avoid, it reduces all the shock loads, particularly underneath the cab, so, and there's a lot more travel with the, uh, the new bogey wheels. Bogey wheels are larger in diameter as well. Uh, obviously that reduces the rotation speed, especially on the road, less heat build up, that kind of thing. And then a massive update is the undercarriage just buried in there. So before, remember the old marshmallow rubber block suspension system? That's gone. It's now got some proper springs in there and some proper dampness. Now all this combined, uh, the, uh, the hard bar across the front, this, offers up approximately plus 20 centimetres, minus 20 centimetres of effectively front axle travel. And also, not forgetting, the uh, track units, both sides, they also oscillate plus or minus about 11 degrees depending on